spiritual therapy and what is spiritual metaphysics. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. Today we're going to wrap up this, this series on spiritual healing, understanding more about A Course in Miracles, reaching our full potential, what are healing prayers, how do we go about self-healing to get the life we want. Well, let's talk about spiritual metaphysics first. There's a big question about that. To experience spiritual healing and what is spiritual metaphysics and what's A Course in Miracles all about? Well, let me say it is called A Course in Miracles. Some of us say The Course in Miracles, but it's actually called A Course in Miracles and it is intense self-psychotherapy spiritual metaphysics for healing. By the way, keep in mind that in the description area down below is an access link called More on ACIM, where it will give you free information on how to learn more about how A Course in Miracles might be what you're looking for in your life. But it is filled with spiritual healing principles, which are lessons for self-healing of spiritual metaphysics. In a set of previous articles and videos, I told you the story of the woman from Croatia who mysteriously found my address and began writing to me while I was in prison over that foolish securities violation. Well, I was sentenced to 10 years. Wow, you, don't, you can imagine how that floored me. I was sentenced to 10 years in prison, but I was released after eight long hellish years in an Ohio prison, and that's where my first three books of the series were written by hand, because I had no computer resources in there, into, comp into comp composition journals, excuse me, since there were no computer resources, but soon would land a mainstream publisher. I was thrilled. By the way, as you're listening to me again, also in the description area down below, is a link to a detailed blog article I'd written at my safe website on more about A Course in Miracles and a metaphysical look at what it's all about. So I hope that you'll access that article. So. What is spiritual metaphysics? Well, let me get back to my story. On a particular day in prison, when I once again needed some kind of a boost, I needed, just felt I needed some mail. Well, some mail showed up for me on this given day. Spiritual healing, we may say. Yes, a letter showed up for me postmarked from Boston, but it was from Nikita. Well, this was my sixth enlightening letter from her so far. This time, she had written it while on her business trip across the Atlantic Ocean to Boston. I sensed that she wrote me these letters with the full intention of keeping me positive and focused. And though the more newsy, we could say, sections of her letters were quite humorous. But in this particular letter, due to the language differences and some personal issues she had told me about, in previous letters with an involvement in spiritual therapy with the Course in Miracles herself, as she called it, I've done, I'd done some editing in this brief little message that she had sent to me, and I'm going to read it right here from my, uh, from my screen. It says, Dearest Jim, I want you to know there is a garden of minds extending its thought through Christ and on to you, and the garden feels the glimmerings of love and hope that you hold. You re, your release from prison will be soon, I am sure of that. I also have been seeing much about prison reform on the United States news. Many are behind you, so please remain positive for the world. Truthfully in peace, signed Nikita. Well, finally, but with minimal details, Nikita finally answered my question that was mulling around in me as to how she ever came to find me because she just out of the blue, suddenly a letter one time had showed up. Well, let's talk about spiritual therapy certainly being self-healing. She explained that about six months before, on her first trip to Boston to meet with an international law firm, she stopped on her way to visit New York City. She had always wanted to see more of the city. On her five-day visit to New York, Nikita wanted to attend Sunday services in a, in a neighborhood Catholic church. She asked a casual passerby while visiting Staten Island, and this nice man directed her to go to St. George's Parish. During the Mass, she noticed a bulletin with a prayer list in the holder that was on the back of the pew in front of her. 
The list had names of people with different situations of suffering and other hardships, and me as one of the people listed as a prisoner in the state of Ohio. Yes, my name was on that prayer list in a church in Staten Island. And of all things, you're not going to believe this, but it's true, of all things, Staten Island is where I was born. Yes, you see, my father was stationed there in the United States Coast Guard during the 50s, and my parents then, soon when I was young, left New York for Ohio, where I was then raised. But while reading this from the volatile and often violent din of the cell block, I did a double take in disbelief and actually commented aloud saying something like, there's no way, this can't be real, this can't be true. Well, I then proceeded to read further and then looked away and said, holy Christ, what is this all about? But she, Nikita, my friend, showed me her honesty in all of this. I hope that hits home about how we're all interconnected and how things happen for reasons. But also, if, you've, if you enjoy my thought-provoking videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please message me with any of your comments. I'd love to hear from you. And by the way, I hope you're thinking about your own natural beauty and the inner awesomeness that is within you, the same inner awesomeness that all of us around the world share together. That, my friend, is spiritual metaphysics. Connecting to one another is spiritual metaphysics. I hope this made sense to you. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, God bless.